Lalaban ako. Lalaban tayo. Inihahain ko ang aking sarili bilang kandidato sa pagkapangulo sa halalan ng 2022. The long wait is finally over. Lenny Robredo, Philippine Vice President, Opposition Leader, Mother of Three, widow of the late TILG Chief Jesse Robredo, is running for president in the 2022 elections. In a prepared speech Rubredo wrote herself, the vice president says she wants to put an end to the incompetence, corruption, and culture of violence that has ruled under President Rodrigo Duterte. Tatalunin natin ang luma at bulok na klase ng politika. Ibabalik natin sa kamay ng karaniwang Pilipino ang kakayahang magdala ng pagbabago. Alam kong marami sa inyo ang ilang buwan ng kumikilos ng kusa tungo sa layuning ito. Ramdam na ramdam ko ang tiwalang kaloob nyo sa akin. Sinasabi ko ngayon, buong buo rin ang tiwala ko sa inyo. She channels the image of a mother, a fighter who would do everything for the people she loves. Ina akong nakikita ang pagdurusa ng minamahal kong bansa. Naniniwala ako ang pag-ibig na susukat hindi lang sa pagtitiis, kundi sa kahandaang lumaban. Kahit gaano kahirap para matapos na ang pagtitiis. Ang nagmamahal, kailangang ipaglaban ang minamahal. She hits Duterte's tragic mishandling of the pandemic and urges Filipinos to rally behind her to put a stop to this kind of failed governance. It has been a long and winding discernment process for Obredo, who is still lagging in pre-election surveys despite her stellar anti-poverty and pandemic response programs. She is joining a presidential race jam-packed with popular candidates, among them her rival, Bongbong Marcos, son of the late dictator. Robredo still believes only a united opposition can defeat Duterte's chosen successor in 2022 and makes an appeal to other presidential contenders. Handa dapat tayong iwaksi ng buong buo ang mga agenda, ang mga interes, ang mismong mga tao at klase ng politika na sanhin ang pinagdaraanan ng bansa natin ngayon. But one thing is glaring. Gone are the shades of yellow in what may as well be the biggest day in Robredo's political career so far. Robredo faces the nation donning a pink face mask and a blue blouse with a huge pink ribbon clipped on her chest. She seems to be distancing herself from the Dilawan tag hounding the Liberal Party the once ruling party she chairs, but which has been demonized by the Duterte machinery. She is running as an independent candidate, not as LP standard bearer. Still, Robredo is surrounded by her most trusted allies from LP. Party President Kiko Pangilinan is her running mate, a last-minute choice for the man who was supposed to seek a Senate re-election in 2022. Her campaign manager is Bam Aquino cousin of the late former President Noynoy Aquino, who was Chairman Emeritus of LP. The veteran Senate Minority Leader Franklin Drillon, LP Vice Chairman, is also expected to play a pivotal role in Robredo's campaign. It's a political strategy for Robredo and a clear sign she has not given up on her mission to unite the opposition in 2022. Itataya ko ang lahat. Ibubuhos ko ang lahat na kayang ibuhos. Sama-sama tayong tumaya sa laban na ito. It remains to be seen if the rest of the country would see Robredo as the unifying candidate she hopes to become. It took a long time for her to get here. But finally, Lenny Robredo is running for president in 2022. To her critics, she says she is strong, determined, powerful. 
ready to fight and end the suffering of so many Filipinos under the Duterte regime. Many say she isn't ready for this presidential campaign. Robredo asks them back, are you ready for her? Mara Cepeda, Rappler, Quezon City.